Well guys, welcome to another episode of Inglorious Fishing. It's currently a Sunday afternoon and we're going out to go and pull the lobster pots guys, the lobster and crab pots now. They haven't been pulled for about three days I think, so I'm hoping no one's gone out there and pulled them and hopefully, uh, after bleaching the pots, hopefully that bleach has uh, gone away because we haven't been fishing very well. We have been getting the odd lobster but not very much guys, so I uh, hope it ain't hampering the fishing but yeah. I'm already down at the boat, we ain't gonna waste no time, we haven't got a lot of time to get out. If you haven't hit the like button, make sure you hit that like button guys. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, push that subscribe button, hit that bell to get the latest fishing notifications. And let's get to the fishing guys, let's go get these Lobo Wobbo, let's go do it. So guys, first strings up, first pot, small brown edible crab and a small lobster there. I don't know if that's going to be size, I'm going to chuck that in there for now, that's a one clawer. Also got another brown edible in there, let's get rid of that. Second pot guys, bit of a mystery here. Check this out. Well I can assure you I didn't put no bass in. I reckon that went in my pot and it's died in my pots. I didn't put no bass bait in, that's for sure. I didn't put no bass bait in. Nice brown edible here. Yeah? You've got a couple of nice brown edibles. So these are too small. Two. Get them off. Two. Three. Four. Five. I don't know about him. No, six. Only this one, guys. Not a bad little male, that. It's not big, big, but it's not a bad size. We'll check that for gauge. Brad could do with a little spider crab, uh, shanker. So, if we can make that a keeper, she'll be in. And it is definitely a keeper, guys. She's in. One brown edible. Anyway, I'm going to play these out. We'll get on to the next set. Get on to our second string. So guys, second string, first pot, zilch, absolutely nothing. Second pot, female brown edible crab there, not a bad size, and a small one. But as you can see, we've had a fish coming here, over a conger eel or something like that. That is a telltale sign of a fish getting into your crab pots, guys, taking the bait band off. So uh, I'm going to put the bait band on, bait these up, and we'll get on to the third set.
So guys, third string's the ink whale string, and we've got absolutely zilch. Nothing, not one crab. So I'm gonna bait these up and we'll get on to the next set. So guys, the fourth string's up and we've got exactly the same again. Absolutely zilch. So yeah, I don't know what's going on, but we baited them up again already. I'm gonna play these out and get them to the fifth set. So guys, fifth string's up, first pot, small brown edible, and a little lobster there, fine little lobster that, shows that our population's absolutely great, so that's a lovely little lobster that's going back. Second pot guys, look at that, we've got a mean menacing conger eel in there, we've got a lobster, so we'll grab the lobster out, that might be in that, that's going to be close that guys, that's, that's a nice lobster, we're going to have to keep that to the side and check that later like the other one. Uh, I'm not going to check them now, there's too much hampering, so they always say wherever there's a conga there's a lobster, so I'm going to get him out guys, I'm going to tip him over the side, get him out, and then uh, we'll get onto the, uh, bait these up, get onto the sip set. Look at that conga. So guys, got him over, try and entice him out. Come on buddy. There he goes, straight back down guys, down to the depths. So like I say, we'll bait these up and get on to the next set. So guys, fat, smash fishing strings up. His pot's got absolutely well, it's got one brown edible crab. Look. One small brown edible crab. Nothing that. Second pot we got nothing. And in the third pot we got a small lobster. Fairly decent brown edible crab at the back. And two smaller ones. So I'm gonna get these out guys. There's the lobster. Beautiful looking thing, I love these. Back he goes. And yeah, we'll pull these crabs out and uh, get onto the last two strings. Hopefully we do a little bit better. So guys, the GoPro just ran out of battery. Sorry you didn't get to see me playing them out. But I'm off to do the last two strings. Let's go and do them. Hopefully you get a big lobster.
So guys, seventh strings up, and we got one spider crab. No bait, no nothing. So I'm sure someone's been here. Uh, and I've got a week off work, so surveillance operation, I think. Yeah. So we're going to keep an eye on these now, guys. I've got a couple of other people keeping an eye on the pot, so uh, yeah, hopefully fishing gets better. So guys, last strings up, first pot, we've got a conger eel again. Look, hate them damn things. Back that goes. Got a nice brown edible at the back there. There's four smaller ones here, they're no good. So I'll empty them in a minute, but check that out. We're not picking that one up with one hand. Another big conger there, guys, check his eye. He is not happy, not happy at all. So I'm gonna play that out. Maybe it's the conger's taking all the bait. Never know. Maybe that's why there's no crabs. All the congas going in, taking the bait and coming out. Could be. Never know. Have to just keep an eye on things, guys. So I'm going to release this, get it over the side of the boat, and then we're going to play these out and start making our way in. There he goes, guys. Straight back down. Take these up and start making our way in. Guys, we started out on a Wednesday, and I couldn't figure out why you would be mad at me. Who are you? Say it's nothing, but it never ever changes. Just like that, it's always whatever. Anyway, every time we try to talk. fishing we went out doing the lobster pots unfortunately we only had one keeper lobster that was the only one that measured in and we had two brown edible crabs guys so grand's gonna have them and yeah mum will have the lobster so all in all not a bad trip but at least we got one lobster so it could have been worse we could have had none so if you like the channel guys please hit that thumbs up make sure you hit that bell as i always say because that way you'll get the latest fishing notifications and as soon as we go lobster fishing especially if we go live you'll get it guys so uh yeah, make sure you do that and we'll see you on the next one, guys, where we get some more lobsters or we go turbot fishing. It's inglorious fishing. See you next time, guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs>